Hello everyone, this is a quick video tutorial on how to use Safe Save to SNES made by Scarsnick. Um, it's a tool, a very handy tool you can use both for your SD2 SNES and your um, SNES Classic. Uh, I'm going to be going over the functionality for having a SD2 SNES. Um, first thing you want to do is uh, install the newest SD2 SNES firmware as well as the newest USB to SNES firmware. Um, for the USB to SNES firmware, you want to go to the uh, GitHub of RedGuy, the programmer of uh, the USB to SNES interface. Um, currently, as I make this video, it's version 7. There might be later releases. Just um, make sure you have the newest one uh, for the newest version of Safe State to SNES, as it won't work otherwise. Um, so yeah, I'll have the link for the downloads in the description, but you just want to download the USB to SNES file, uh, load it onto your SD card off your SD to SNES, and um, load the USB to SNES tools onto your desktop. Um, it should be a folder like this here, um, with all these contents, the SD to SNES stuff is obviously going to get onto your SD card. And then you have a folder called apps here. Um, we see we have a file viewer, input viewer, memory viewer, Zelda hut, uh, all that stuff installed by default. Um, but now we're going to install the safe state to SNES. So um, let's open the uh, the GitHub of Scars, uh, the programmer of SD, uh, safe state to SNES really quick. Uh, again, I'll link this in the description. Uh, so you're here on his page. And what you want to do is you want to click on download zip and uh, it's going to just download the zip file here. Uh, the version I'm currently using uh, is going to be uh, 0.4.27. Um, and you can already see like a little preview on this page here. You have the contents, you have the features. So if you have like any problem setting it up if you want to know how to set it up for the SNES Classic as well. Uh, you can find that all here. Um, but I'm going to guide you over how to set it up quickly uh, step by step. Okay, so we downloaded the zip file here. <coughs> uh, it opens this little window here, save state to SNES, and we're just going to extract that to our desktop. All right. Then we want to open the USB to SNES folder as well. Uh, just going to have a really quick look in here into the safe state to SNES folder. Uh, we're going to go into apps again and then pull the safe state to SNES folder into the apps folder of your USB to SNES. All right, and once that is done, um, you want to go out, uh, double click the USB to SNES icon here. Uh, that's going to open up the uh, the web socket which we, with which all the apps of the USB to SNES communicate um, to read all the data from your SNES. Uh, once that's done, uh, it's going to have a little icon in the bottom right that you can't see on my screen right now. Um, basically, just want to right click uh, that symbol here in your uh, bottom left bar. Actually, I can show this really quick here. Uh, there you go. Um, there at the bottom right, there is this uh, little symbol for your USB to SNES, and you want to go to clients, and then you're going to have your safe state to SNES uh, app already showing. All right. Uh, you want to click that. Uh, it looks like, yeah, okay, so the USB to SNES WebSocket crashed. Uh, that happens sometimes, that happens with all apps. Uh, if that happens, just uh, click USB to SNES again. It doesn't have to do anything with the program, it's just uh, sometimes it does that. <laughs> but nevertheless, if you, once you restart USB to SNES, it should be working. You can close this. Again, go to Client, Safe State to SNES. And there we go. All right, let's go back to this screen here. All right, so 
as you first open it, it should pop up this window here, safe state to SNES. Uh, for me, it's German. If you're English, it should obviously be in your uh, mother tongue. Um, so it's basically asking you if you have the latest USB to SNES firmware here. Specifically, it asks for version 6.0 or higher. Uh, if you don't have the latest USB to SNES firmware and you don't have the link that I showed you before, you can just click this little link here and it will automatically do that for you. But uh, we have version 7, so we are fine. And now we need to choose a directory for the safe states because we obviously want to do a lot of safe states for our games uh, for whatever purpose. And we need to make a directory for that on our PC. So we click that little folder icon here. And uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to go to um, the USB to SNES folder here and then I'm going to put a make a new folder here. <clears throat> uh, excuse me. There you go. Make a new folder here. Uh, call it safe states. And we are good to go. So just select this, choose the directory, and then we can click OK. And once we did that, it opens the actual app, the safe state to SNES interface here. And that's basically what we're going to be working with. Um, now, let me show you really quick. I got a game set up running on my SD2 SNES. Uh, there you go. I got Lost Vikings 2 set up here, currently running on my SD2 SNES. Um, so there we are in game. So the first step, the first thing that we are uh, gonna do, uh, actually, let me make that a little bit smaller just so that you can actually see what I do in the program. So yeah, we have our game feed here in the top left. Now it's currently showing a yellow icon here. Um, that means that the ROM is currently not patched for a safe state, so we need to do a patch first. Um, but that's really easy here. Uh, you just need to click on this button here, uh, patch ROM, uh, and it will automatically do that. And now, uh, you saw really quick installation here, just a little blink on the game feed, and now we have a green button. And this means that we are ready uh, to do some save states. Uh, so first thing you want to do is you want to make a uh, new game. I'm going to be calling this uh, Lost Vikings 2. So that we have um, a place in the directory where we can actually store this. And now the first thing you need to do is you need to make a category. So let's say I want to make uh, a category called World 1. So now I have my game set up, Lost Vikings 2, and a category. Uh, it's really important that you make a category here, um, because otherwise you won't be able to use this feature here. So even if you just want to make a bunch of um, random saves, they just make a category here. And then what you want to do is you want to like once you are at a spot where you want to make the save state, just click um, this button here in the center to make a save state. And as you can see, it just created the save state. We can name it. Let's say um, we're going to call this level one. And now we're done. So now you know where you can see where we are right now in game. And now I just moved a little bit. Now I can click on the save state here and click load save state right here and we are back at the beginning so the save states are uh, looking good um, we can rename the save state by clicking this button we can sort the save states like if we have uh, like if we have several save states let's make one right here uh, call this something uh, then we can like sort them up and down we can delete save states uh, by clicking this button here and that way you can sort all your save states like let's say you're speedrunning a game this is going to be really really handy to just sort your stuff especially if there's no practice hack for the game um so that's basically the main feature of the game it's really really cool um one thing i just want to show you really quick is uh shortcuts for creating save states because that's a really really cool feature um so right now as you can see we have um R plus select as a shortcut for a quick save. Um, so if we click um, R plus select, it's going to do this here. Uh, it also pauses the game. That has nothing to do with the software. It's just 
that select is the pause button here, but you can you can edit the soft uh, the shortcut for this for the quick save, and then if we press um, L and select, uh, we're gonna be back where we were before, so um, that works. Uh, so this is more of a feature for like doing really quick uh, save states. Uh, for this is more like a you want to have a safe state for like every single level or for like specific situations um, Yeah, this is this is how um, The USB to SNES uh, the SD to SNES, the safe state to SNES software works for um, For the SD to SNES. It's really really easy to set up uh, And I hope you guys are gonna have a lot of fun with it um, again credit for this goes to uh, Skarsnik uh, who programmed this made a lot of cool stuff um, if you find any bugs or um, anything, you can just um, send him an email or message him on Discord or Twitch, uh, which is the easiest way to reach him. <clears throat> and of course, if you want to support him uh, by him making like more awesome software for the USB to SNES, uh, then you can also uh, support him. But yeah, that's it for this tutorial. Again, it's super easy to set up, and uh, I hope you guys are going to have a lot of fun with it.